Hey, good morning class. My name is Dave Hawes. You can call me Dave, you can call me Mr. Dave, you can call me the wood guy, I hear it all. So welcome to our STEM engineering design catapult challenge. As you can see in front of me, I've got a couple catapults and I've got some uh, funny looking funny looking projectiles. Uh, these are marshmallows, as you've already figured out. We've got three different sizes here. So what you're gonna do is when we show up, um, you guys are gonna have a couple hours to build some catapults. I'm gonna go over the, the dimensions, the materials, the pieces, all that stuff. Uh, catapults of your design, we'll talk about what the variables are you have to work with. And then uh, when we come back the next day, you're gonna have a little bit of time to test some more and make some fixes, but then we're gonna have some challenges. And we've got three challenges. We're gonna go for distance, we're gonna go for accuracy. We're gonna do, we're gonna build a uh, Minecraft wall and we're gonna see who can knock it down the best. We've got a few constraints. So you're gonna be in groups. Uh, your teachers are gonna break you into groups. You're gonna work together on this challenge. However, each one of you can build your own catapult to take home. That's a good opportunity for you guys to try some different things on the different designs and we'll get into what those variables are in a minute. And you can then see who's does best at what. For each of the challenges, you can decide which of your team's catapults you want to use for which challenge. First, let's talk uh, a little bit about the catapults and how they work. So I already called this a lever. That's what it is. Um, and the lever pivots on what is called the fulcrum or the pivot point. And you can see we've got two examples here. One, this lever is up here or pivoting up, up here. This lever's pivoting down here all the way at kind of the very end of the lever, whereas this one's farther up. So that's, that's one of your first variables is where do you wanna put the fulcrum um, based on uh, where you want this lever to pivot. So if the fulcrum's up here, you've basically got a much shorter lever, whereas if the fulcrum's down here, you've got a longer level lever. Now there's pros and cons to both of those. Where your fulcrum point will also determine what the overall uh, functioning length of that lever is based on where it pivots. Um, because what happens when you pull this lever down, you're building up all this uh, stored energy in the rubber bands, and when you let it go, it transfers that stored energy into kinetic energy, and poop, up goes your lever, and off goes your projectile. So you've got your variable of, of how long your lever is, uh, you've got your variable of where you put your fulcrum. This one's down low, this one's up higher. Um, does it make sense to be down low? Uh, does it make sense to be at the end? Does it make sense to be somewhere in the middle? Um, even if it's the end, uh, do you want your fulcrum to be up high? I don't know, that's for you to figure out. Uh, the, other, the other variable you'll see here is uh, where the rubber bands are attached. Um, are the rubber bands stretched way out here to the end? Uh, do they do better in the middle? Do they do better low? Where's the best place for that rubber band to be pulling on this lever to uh, accomplish what you want to accomplish, whether that's knocking down the wall or hitting the target or uh, seeing who can shoot the farthest. These two are in your classroom now. Your teacher will show these to you. You can use these to experiment. Um, you can see how they work. You can take ideas from these. And the great thing about these, um, we're not, we're not building perfect catapults here, we're building prototypes. Uh, so you're gonna build them and you're gonna test them out and you might go back and make changes. So don't worry about perfection, worry more about functionality. So your constraints are uh, no longer than 12 inches in length when the uh, lever is down and uh, no wider than six inches. So you can go six inches wide at whatever the widest point is. On this one, it's, it's this, uh, this bar here where the uh, rubber bands are attached. And then height-wise, now height will be measured with your lever down, and height-wise is you've got a max of eight inches. This one's a little short. This one, I think, is right at eight inches. So that'll be measured with the lever down. So available to you, We've got, aside from our marshmallows, we've got rubber bands. We have a lot of those. You can use as many of those as you want or as few of those as you want. We've got different size dowels. Uh, we should have half inch, three eighths, seven sixteenths with us, and we have all the appropriate drill bits for drilling this out. Uh, we will have all the tools you need. 
when we're on site, we'll talk a little bit about the tools available to you and how to safely use those tools, whether it be a drill or a saw. Um, it's primarily what you're gonna use. And then uh, for fastening, we've got screws, we've got nails, we've got glue. Um, for the base or for the frame of the catapult, we've got a whole lot of this. Uh, this measures one and a half by so it's one and a half inches this way and three quarters of an inch thick. And that's what these are both made out of. Um, we've got a whole lot of this in all kinds of different lengths. So uh, we can help you cut those to size, to the size you need for, for your catapult. I would encourage you guys to maybe jump online uh, tonight and, and take a look at some other catapult designs because these are just two and there's there's probably thousands of different ways out there to adjust these different things and, and come up with a come up with an idea of your own. Uh, what I don't have laying out here, but you'll see here is we've got some of this uh, press board and we'll have some of that available if you need to make some triangulation um, so that your catapult, when you pull your catapult back, it doesn't, doesn't pull the frame apart. If you get done early um, and you guys are just ready to go, well then we've got time. You guys can paint them and, and do whatever you want. But you all get to build one, you all get to take it home. Uh, those are the main pieces available to you. If you think of something else that you might want to use, um, we're open to that. And uh, we're gonna have fun and you guys are gonna build these and test them and, and uh, we're going to see uh, see who who can who can earn the most points on the challenge.